What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video up on the channel. That's right guys, another video up on the channel. I hope you all did appreciate and enjoy yesterday's three video uploads. That's right guys, I did three uploads of Clash of Clans yesterday. I was really putting in the work for you guys, so let's see about today. I'm thinking two videos is going to be pretty strong, but we'll see. So today guys, I wanted to start off the day by saying that the Electro Dragon that I was hoping on getting a video out for today is not even done upgrading yet. We have another eight and a half hours left, so I'm not going to worry about that, but we do have a free builder as you guys can see. Now that allows us to start an upgrade for something else. We don't have enough Dark Elixir to start the Barbarian King, not even close. Close, but we do have enough to start on this cannon right here so that's exactly what we are going to do guys we're gonna start on that cannon that is a 45 minute upgrade so I might just try and upgrade that a few more times before my next video right now it's a level 3 being upgraded to level 4 who knows maybe my next video I'll have it by level 7 you know who knows so let's go check our builder base and let's see what's going on over here. Alrighty guys, so we do have 3.6 million elixir and that is really, really good because we actually need to work on upgrading two of our units. I know I was talking about it in yesterday's videos, but we are trying to upgrade the minion. This upgrade is going to actually upgrade his long shot ability from five attacks thrown from longer range to six attacks thrown from longer range. If we're going to upgrade our baby dragon instead, it's going to improve the tantrum ability from 150% to 160% I believe it is over the normal damage done at normal pace. So I'm not too sure which I want to go with guys, but the baby dragon is a little bit more expensive. They're both the same level, so we might as well just go with the minion. We're going to start that right away, and the next upgrade is going to have to be the baby dragon, guys. I am so excited because there is just so much fun stuff going on in Clash of Clans right now. Along with this, we also have a free builder, of course, on our builder base. So we're going to start on another low building, which is going to be the mine. We still have to upgrade three more of these, followed by three of these spring traps. Guys, I'm going from the cheapest buildings to upgrade first to the highest, most expensive. So let's get rid of this guy right here, the mine. That's a five hour upgrade. Gonna take 250,000 gold. And along with that, guys, so much going on today. We have the party wizard back. That's right, guys. So we have to win a bunch of multiplayer battles using 13 party wizard troops. What I'm thinking is I'm actually going to do a all party wizard troop battle, just maxing it out, filling up my camps. So that we're probably going to do later. But guys, this is so exciting because he is temporarily back. Temporarily, but 20 days is quite a long time for the Clash Aversary festivities. Alrighty, now that I've thrown all of that at you guys, and I do apologize, I know that was so much talking, so, so much talking, but we do need to work on getting that 9 million elixir so that we can work on upgrading our next spell, which is going to be this right here, the clone spell, upgrading it from level four or level five, I should say. Yeah, level four to level five. That's going to be a huge upgrade because of course that does increase the clone capacity and that allows us to not only get a uh, P.E.K.K.A., but that is going to be a really, really big upgrade. So we're gonna hop right into a match here and see if we can't get to nine million elixir. I'll see you guys when I'm in a match. Alrighty guys, we found a base and it's not a crazy amount of elixir, but just look at this. They have all these elixir storages down at the bottom and this should be a pretty easy 50% one star, but I'm really going to see if I can't go for the town hall and maybe get a two star on this guys. So we are using our air class setup, that's right. We even have the bat spell, that's going to also help us to take out as many of these defenses as possible. So what I'm going to start off by doing is just immediately putting down my two lava hounds follow it up by a bunch of balloons and then a couple of rage spells closer to the actual center we're going to then give it a second follow it up by a couple of these bat spells follow it up by the dragons the minions are going to take out all of these outside areas and defenses and everything the archers I might want to use around the outside of the map just to get us a little extra percentage here oh that mortar is going to take that guy out uh oh Alrighty, alrighty, let's heal spell our troops. Grand Warden, I'll follow it up by the Barbarian King. Guys, we might be able to get this. We might be able to get this. Come on, come on. The Barbarian King is going to have to really do some work here, guys. He's really going to have to put it in for the team. 
Alrighty, so I'm going to use my Grand Warden ability to try and protect my minions and my dragons for a second here. Seeing if we can't do a little extra damage. Oh, they went the wrong way. I was really hoping that they would go for the Town Hall, guys, but they did not. Since they didn't, and basically all of my troops are dead, I'm going to save my Grand Warden here, so I don't want him to die. We only got 362,000 elixir. That's okay, guys. I did spend about 10 minutes searching, though, for a base, and kind of just gave up in the end. What we're going to do, because later I really, really want to do this, I'm going to just do a full-on party wizard loadout. 65 party wizards, guys. 65. That is insane. Alrighty, so we have another air setup, but this time we actually do have a couple of ground units. That's right, guys, we put warthogs, or not warthogs, we put hog riders, I'm thinking halo. Hog riders are going to be part of the setup. They're going to also help to take out some of those defenses. Now, we did have to give up the two dragons in its place, but that's okay, guys, because the hog riders do quite a bit of damage. Let's go hop right into another match, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Wow, 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 guys, look at this base. We just hopped right into it and found it. One million elixir, 969,000 gold. If we're able to get the one star, we're going to get a little extra loot just to put us over that one million gold. Guys, I don't see why we couldn't do it. Let's hop right into it. We gotta come up with a kind of method here on how we want to do it. I really, really want to attack the right side because we have all these elixir collectors along with the gold collectors. And I think I might just put down one of the witches over here. I'm going to put down one witch, follow it up, both Lava Hounds in the top. We're then going to put down all of our balloon troops up here. Along with the Hog Riders, they're going to take out a couple extra of those as well. And then we're going to put down all of our minions. Follow it up with a couple of Bat Spells. One more Bat Spell, boom, Rage Spell, Heal Spell. Another Rage Spell and another Heal Spell. Guys, we're putting down the Grand Warden right away. We are so close to a million Elixir here. So close. There we go, boys. But we got to get enough to actually get some new troops going after this. So hopefully these minions over here are able to take out this Elixir storage. I hope the Grand Warden can get it. Alrighty, there we go. There we go, guys. Look at this. It's looking pretty darn good right now. The only thing is we are not going to get that one star. We didn't do well enough to even get the one star. But we still have this witch alive over here. She's taking out that builder hut. Let's see, can she get that gold storage? She's not going to make it, guys. She's not going to do it. Darn, darn, darn. That's okay, though, guys. We did get a pretty solid amount of loot nonetheless. 636,000 elixir, 600,000 gold. I think if I'd used all ground units, I could have done a lot better. So, guys, like I said, I still want to go along with that party wizard theme. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to just do all party wizards. Now that puts us a little under 9 million elixir. But what we can do, guys, is if later we do an attack, we are going to, of course, be able to try and get that elixir back. But I do have a fallback plan. We have enough in the treasury that if we wanted to take this out, we definitely can. We could take out the 1.3 million elixir almost and put that right into our elixir storages and our gold storage and that'll help us to immediately be able to upgrade another spell. Guys, that's going to be it for today's video, at least in the morning. I should have another video out for you, hopefully later today. And if not, guys, definitely tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, so of course, happy Thursday for today. I love you guys all. Stay cool. Have a good one, guys. Peace.